This is an updated getting started video for the visual timer extension. There's a bunch of other timers out there, um, certainly in the Chrome extension store, you can download desktop apps, that kind of thing. But I found that most of those require you to do a lot of clicking to start a new timer, pause a timer, stop a timer, that kind of thing. And I really like keeping my hands on the keyboard for the most part and having minimal mouse interaction. Um, so that's why I developed this one. The other benefit um, to this one, the, the thing I didn't see as often out there, is having this very clear um, visual feedback. You can see the little red line kind of slowly moving across, filling up this 10 minute timer, so that I know just in my periphery um, how far along my timer is. Um, I can resize it too. I can make it as big and prominent or as quiet as I want it to be. Um, so that is, those were kind of like the first goals that I had. Um, when this finishes, you'll hear a ding. I'm going to do a one minute timer just so you can see it count down faster. Um, the ding's not going to come through the recording, but it's a nice, crisp, loud ding. So that even if you're playing music, you can still hear it over top of that usually. And just in case the ding isn't enough, um, you'll see here in a second that there's a very uh, vibrant end state that flashes uh, so that you can, even if you're not hearing the ding at the end, you're going to see the flashing. Um, status and know that your timer is complete, uh, even if you've lost track of the visual progress here as it's counting down. Um, I want to show you after this finishes counting down a couple new features uh, and review a couple old features. You'll have the ability to change this red background, for example. You have the ability to turn off the ding if you just find that kind of abrasive, you just don't want the, the audio feedback um, and you just want the flashing, I've got a mode for that too. Um, I'm going to show you how to start a timer, set a new timer, pause a timer, restart the timer, um, and then I'm going to show you the new task mode. So there you go. Um, this is its finished state. In this finished state, it blinks very you know, prominently, red, black, red, black, until you come back over here and you set a new timer or you pause it. If you just get annoyed by it and you just want to turn it off for a little bit, go to lunch, whatever, you can hit the space bar. That pauses and unpauses it. If it's in its finished state and you pause it, it's going to assume you want to start another one. Um, but here, if it's still counting down, it's going to pause the countdown until you resume. So I'm just hitting the space bar to pause it, space bar again to unpause it. At any time, if I want to change the timer from a one minute timer in this example to a five minute timer or a 10 minute timer, I'm just going to enter that with the keyboard. Um, so I'm hitting five, enter, one, zero, enter. You get the idea. It does require that this window be focused. If I come over here to this window and hit five, you know, it's not gonna know that I wanna start a five minute timer. So that's the only thing you have to do with your mouse um, or maybe your alt tabs or what have you um, to select the window and then you can change the timer. All right, that's the basic functionality. Now, if I wanna change the, the ding feedback, the audio feedback or this color, I can hit question mark. So on my keyboard, I'm sitting question mark I can turn off the ding. I can change the color to be blue, for example. Um, and then I can save that. And there's also a little helpful guide here that tells you how to change these things too. If you forget, you know, um, how to get to the task view, as long as you remember the question mark, um, you'll get this little cheat sheet here. So I can hit save at this point. Now I've got a blue timer instead of a red timer. So you can personalize it a little bit. Um, then you can restart it with the R button. They say you just kind of got a false start. You got distracted for some reason. You want to start the timer over. You just hit R to restart it. And let's see, I think that's it for the main settings. Now let's jump into the task mode. So um, a, a feature that I use, or a, a companion thing that I use is Tick Tick. This is my primary task list. And you can see I haven't done it for all of these, but I have this habit of estimating how much time I think something's going to take in minutes and then a dash, and then whatever the task is. This is not something that's built into TickTick. -tick. This is just kind of how I keep track of my estimates for how long I think a thing's gonna take. And that keeps me honest in terms of how much stuff I can get done in an hour or in a day. I'm not overloading myself by put, trying to get everything done for a day. And so I can usually push things off by right-clicking and say, move this to tomorrow, if it's really not important for me to get to today. So at the start of my day, I kind of look over all the things I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and I be honest with myself in terms of what I think are really important for me to get done today. And I move everything off to the next day or the next week if it's not really important for me to complete today. Then I have, when I, once I have my priority list for the day, 
I come through here and I, um, I, I start adding estimates for things that I don't have estimates for. So for this one, this is me recording a video. This is probably gonna take me about 15 minutes to script up, eh, probably more like 25 minutes, to write a script and to record the video. So now I've got this kind of format here. When I'm ready to start the thing, I used to, I click on this, start a 25 minute timer, so 25 minutes, and then that kind of keeps track of what my active task is and the timer associated with it. And if I uh, get done inside of that amount of time, great. If I don't, then that is feedback for me that I need to be better about estimating my time. I need to buffer this a little bit more. If something's over 40 minutes, typically I'll try to break it into separate tasks. So everything should fit inside of a 40 minute block. Otherwise it's too big for me to really estimate you know, appropriately. It's too big of a thing to do all in one sitting. So that's kind of my habit for how I try to get through all my stuff. So um, the feature that I've just completed and I've just submitted it to the, the store, um, an updated version. So you're gonna see a preview of something that should be available um, very shortly. Uh, so what I've done here, let me just remove these guys. Um, for At the start of my day, once I've got this whittled down to the things I really wanna get done today, I'll copy over the things that, um, that I'm gonna be doing. So I just take this and I paste it in here, hit add. And you might ask, well, this seems like a lot of extra work. Why are you doing it this way? And I'm gonna show you, once I've got a few things in here, the reason and the workflow that this enables. All right, so now I've got three things in here and I can start one of these tasks. I can start a timer from the task all within the visual ta timer um, application. So if I'm gonna start working on sourcing tea components, I'm, we've got a tea shop, my wife and I do, and I'm gonna start looking for ways to blend our own teas. I think that's gonna take me 15 minutes. I hit start and that then starts a 15 minute timer and takes the description uh, and puts it here very prominently for me to see. So now, because one of the challenges I have is I'm gonna be like, oh shoot, I, in the middle of, of the day, I'm, I need to ask, add things to my, my task list. And so now I've got my focus task here that I'm supposed to be working on without interruption ideally, but interruptions happen. I can now come back over to Tick Tick and add this thing that says like, you know, take out trash. Um, I'm like, oh shoot, this is in my head right now and I need to get it out of my head this very second in order for it to not like keep distracting me. So now in Tick Tick, I can capture it. I can make sure I don't lose it. Now it's out of my head. I don't have to be thinking about it anymore. And I can resume my focus time on sourcing T components, all right? And then once this completes, um, I can go back into the, test, the task mode and I can remove it, source T components. That just marks it done in my head or for my, my list of, of things today in the visual timer, all right? Um, I'm going to continue developing this so that when the timer completes, you'll have a button right there in the timer to mark it done or whether you need more time. Eventually, the long-term goal here is to give you, you feedback about how good you are at estimating your time. However many times you end up with that task being complete, the timer being complete, and you say like, I need one more minute, I need five more minutes or whatever. That's going to give you feedback so you can refine your estimates and be just kind of hold you accountable for are you breaking down your work into small enough things to get them done? Um, and uh, and are, do you just need to buffer your time a bit more in terms of your estimates? The goal here, you're never gonna get down to the second, but roughly it's about being honest with what you can get done in a day and trying to refine this so that you are having that partner in your workflow um, and getting that feedback so that you can just uh, make, make your, your estimates better. So when you tell your spouse, when you tell your coworkers you're gonna get something done, um, you can say with greater confidence, yes, I'm going to get this done today because I know how much time I spend on a, an average task. Um, I'm, I'm getting better and better about estimating my tasks. That's the goal. That's the long-term goal. It's going to take us time to get there. As usual, please give me feedback. Um, I don't have an official website or a, a feedback channel for you. Um, just there's a, This YouTube video has comments down below. Please just put your comments there, um, and I will be look, looking at that for new ideas, for bug reports, etc. I've already done like three or four um, fixes or small improvements based on that feedback. So I find that really, really valuable. Please um, add comments down below. Thanks so much.